Have you ever wondered if that little pill you take every day could be affecting your brain health? Imagine this, you've been taking a medication for years, trusting it's helping you, only to discover it might be harming your cognitive health. Today, we're diving into a topic that affects millions but is rarely discussed, medications that could potentially lead to dementia. Stay with us as we explore 10 common medications linked to cognitive decline. Understanding these risks could change how you manage your health. And make sure you watch until the end because medication number 8 is the most surprising and widely used. Medication number 1, Benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines such as Xanax and Valium, commonly prescribed for anxiety, insomnia, and stress-related disorders, have been linked to an increased risk of dementia. Medications like diazepam and lorazepam work by enhancing the action of gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA, a neurotransmitter that produces a calming effect on the nervous system. While effective in the short term, prolonged use can lead to significant cognitive risks. Research indicates that long-term benzodiazepine use may interfere with normal brain function, potentially impairing memory and cognitive processes. For example, a French study involving over a thousand elderly individuals over 15 years found that regular benzodiazepine users had a 60% higher risk of developing dementia compared to non-users. The physical and psychological dependence that can arise from these medications further complicates matters, making it challenging to discontinue their use without medical supervision. If you or someone you know uses benzodiazepines, Discussing the risks with a healthcare professional is crucial. There are alternative therapies, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, that can effectively treat anxiety and insomnia without the dementia related risks. Transitioning to these alternatives requires careful planning and monitoring to avoid withdrawal symptoms and ensure treatment success. In light of these findings, it's essential for patients and healthcare providers to critically evaluate the use of benzodiazepines, especially among older adults who are more vulnerable to adverse effects. Considering therapeutic alternatives can safeguard cognitive health while effectively managing anxiety and sleep disorders. Always consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your medication regimen to ensure safe and effective treatment. Number 2 Anticholinergics. Anticholinergics such as atropine, hyoscyamine, methscopolamine, and scopolamine, a common class of drugs, are often used to treat conditions like allergies, urinary incontinence, and Parkinson's disease. They work by blocking the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter essential for memory and learning. Despite their effectiveness, there's growing concern about their impact on cognitive function. Studies have shown that prolonged use of anticholinergics can lead to cognitive decline, particularly in older adults. Acetylcholine plays a crucial role in brain processes like memory formation and retention. When its action is inhibited, as with anticholinergics, it can lead to memory problems and even increase the risk of dementia. A study conducted by the University of Washington, which followed over 3,400 adults for seven years, found that individuals who regularly used anticholinergics had a significantly higher risk of developing dementia. Specifically, those taking high doses over long periods were at a 54% increased risk. This is particularly concerning given the widespread use of these medications. Many people might not realize that their regular allergy medicine could contribute to cognitive decline. It's crucial for individuals, especially the elderly, to be informed about these risks. If you or someone you know uses anticholinergics frequently, it's important to have a conversation with your healthcare provider. There are often safer alternatives available. For example, nasal corticosteroids can effectively treat allergies without the cognitive side effects associated with anticholinergics. Number 3. Opioid Painkillers Opioid painkillers, such as morphine and oxycodone, are frequently prescribed for severe pain management, especially following surgeries or for chronic conditions. These medications work by binding to specific receptors in the brain and spinal cord, providing effective pain relief. 
However, they come with potential risks that extend beyond addiction and dependence. Research indicates that prolonged use of opioids can lead to changes in brain structure and function. Studies have shown a reduction in gray matter volume in areas of the brain responsible for memory and decision-making. These alterations can lead to cognitive issues, potentially increasing the risk of dementia over time. The sedative effects of opioids further exacerbate these cognitive challenges, causing drowsiness and difficulty concentrating. One study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine highlighted a significant connection between long-term opioid use and a heightened risk of dementia. This finding underscores the importance of weighing the benefits and risks of opioid therapy, especially for long-term use. So, what can you do if you rely on opioids for pain management? First, it's crucial to have an open dialogue with your healthcare provider. Discuss the potential risks to cognitive health and explore alternative pain management strategies. Non-opioid medications, physical therapy, acupuncture, and mindfulness-based approaches may offer effective relief without the same cognitive risks. If opioids are necessary, work closely with your doctor to use the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration possible. Regular monitoring can help mitigate potential side effects, ensuring your pain is managed while safeguarding your cognitive health. Balancing pain relief with mental clarity is essential for maintaining overall well-being. Number 4. Tricyclic Antidepressants Tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, such as amitriptyline, nortriptyline are a class of medications primarily used to treat depression but they also find application in managing other conditions like anxiety disorders, chronic pain, and insomnia. TCAs include drugs such as amitriptyline, nortriptyline, and imipramine, which work by increasing levels of neurotransmitters like serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. While they can be effective in improving mood and alleviating symptoms of depression, it's important to consider their impact on brain health. One of the concerns with TCAs is their potential cognitive side effects. Some individuals may experience issues such as drowsiness, confusion, and difficulty concentrating. These side effects are more pronounced in older adults, as aging makes the brain more susceptible to medication effects. The anticholinergic properties of TCAs, which can block the action of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, are partly responsible for these cognitive changes. This blockage can lead to memory impairment and, in some cases, an increased risk of developing dementia. Recent studies have shown a connection between the use of anticholinergic medications, including TCAs, and a higher likelihood of cognitive decline. A study published in JAMA Internal Medicine found that long-term use of these drugs is associated with an increased risk of dementia. This highlights the importance of carefully assessing the need for TCAs especially in older adults, and exploring alternative treatments where possible. For those currently using TCAs, regular consultations with healthcare providers are essential. Discussing any cognitive changes or concerns with your doctor can lead to adjustments in medication or dosage to minimize side effects. Non-pharmacological treatments, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, or lifestyle modifications, may also be considered to manage depression effectively while protecting brain health. Number 5. Antipsychotics Antipsychotics, such as haloperidol and risperidone, are commonly prescribed to manage severe mental health conditions like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. These medications work by modifying the effects of certain neurotransmitters in the brain, such as dopamine and serotonin, to help control symptoms like hallucinations delusions, and mood swings. While antipsychotics can be highly effective in managing these severe conditions, prolonged use has been associated with significant risks to cognitive health. Research indicates that long-term use of antipsychotics can lead to cognitive decline and an increased risk of developing dementia. One of the primary concerns is that antipsychotics can cause changes in brain structure and function. Studies have shown that these medications may accelerate cognitive symptoms, including memory loss and impaired thinking.
For example, a study published in the British Medical Journal found that elderly patients on long-term antipsychotic therapy had an accelerated decline in cognitive function compared to those not using these medications. Additionally, antipsychotics can cause other severe side effects such as excessive sedation, tremors, weight gain, and diabetes. These side effects can further complicate mental and physical health, making treatment more challenging. For those who need antipsychotics, it is crucial to have thorough medical monitoring. Regular evaluations can help manage side effects and adjust dosages as needed. Number 6. H2 Receptor Blockers H2 receptor blockers, also known as H2 antagonists, are medications that reduce stomach acid production. They are commonly used to treat conditions such as gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, ulcers, and other digestive disorders. Common H2 blockers include ranitidine, famotidine, cimetidine, and nizatidine. These medications work by blocking histamine receptors in the stomach lining, thereby decreasing acid secretion. While H2 blockers are generally considered safe and effective for managing stomach acid-related issues, there has been some discussion about their potential impact on cognitive health, especially with long-term use. Most people use these medications without significant side effects, but some studies have raised concerns about possible cognitive effects, particularly in older adults. Some research suggests that prolonged use of H2 blockers may be associated with an increased risk of cognitive impairment or dementia in the elderly. However, the evidence is not conclusive, and more studies are needed to determine whether these medications directly cause cognitive decline. Factors such as age, overall health, and the presence of other medical conditions may also play a role in cognitive changes. For individuals concerned about the potential cognitive effects of H2 blockers, it is important to weigh the benefits and risks of these medications. If you rely on H2 blockers for managing acid-related symptoms, talk to your healthcare provider about your concerns. They can help assess your risk and discuss alternative treatment options if necessary. To minimize any potential risks, use the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration possible. Lifestyle changes, such as dietary modifications, weight management, and avoiding triggers like smoking and alcohol, can also help reduce acid-related symptoms without relying solely on medication. Number 7. Antiepileptics Antiepileptic drugs, such as phenytoin and valproic acid, are crucial for managing seizures in individuals with epilepsy. These medications work by stabilizing electrical activity in the brain, which helps prevent seizures and improves patients' quality of life. However, there are growing concerns about their impact on cognitive health, especially with long-term use. Research shows that prolonged use of antiepileptic medications can negatively affect cognitive functions like memory and concentration. This is because these drugs can interfere with neurotransmitter function in the brain, which is essential for communication between brain cells. Additionally, the sedative effects of many antiepileptic drugs may contribute to drowsiness and difficulty focusing, further exacerbating cognitive issues. A notable study published in Neurology examined the cognitive effects of antiepileptic medications over several years. The research revealed that patients who used these drugs for extended periods had a significantly higher risk of developing dementia. The study highlighted that high doses of these medications were particularly problematic, increasing the risk of cognitive decline. Despite these concerns, Antiepileptic medications remain a cornerstone in the treatment of epilepsy. If you are taking these medications, it's crucial to work closely with your healthcare provider to manage potential side effects. Newer treatments and combination therapies may offer options with fewer cognitive risks. Additionally, adjusting the dose of antiepileptic medications can help minimize side effects while maintaining effective seizure control. Number 8. Statins Statins are a group of medications commonly prescribed to lower cholesterol levels in the blood. High cholesterol is a significant risk factor for heart disease, so statins play a vital role in reducing the risk of heart attacks and strokes. 
common statins include atorvastatin, simvastatin, and rosavastatin. These drugs work by inhibiting an enzyme in the liver called HMG-CoA reductase, which is responsible for producing cholesterol. By lowering cholesterol levels, statins help prevent the buildup of plaque in the arteries, which can lead to blockages and heart disease. While statins are effective at managing cholesterol levels, there are some concerns about their long-term use, particularly regarding cognitive health. Studies have suggested that statins might impact memory and cognitive function. For example, some research indicates that statins could be linked to mild memory problems in some individuals, although this is not a universal experience. A study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology examined the cognitive effects of statins and found that while some patients reported minor memory issues, these were generally not severe or long-lasting. The benefits of reducing heart disease risk often outweigh these potential side effects. However, if you experience noticeable changes in memory or cognitive function while on statins, it is important to discuss these concerns with your healthcare provider. Number 9. Proton Pump Inhibitors, PPIs Have you ever used proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, to ease stomach problems like acid reflux or ulcers? While these medications can provide significant relief, they may also have hidden risks, particularly concerning cognitive health. PPIs, such as omeprazole and esomeprazole, are commonly prescribed to reduce stomach acid production. They work by blocking the proton pumps in the stomach lining that produce acid. This can help alleviate symptoms of heartburn and prevent damage to the gastrointestinal tract. For many people, PPIs are an effective solution for managing these conditions. However, recent research suggests that long-term use of PPIs may come with potential drawbacks for brain health. Studies have indicated that extended use of PPIs could be linked to cognitive decline and an increased risk of dementia. One reason for this connection is that reducing stomach acid can impair the absorption of essential nutrients needed for brain function such as vitamin B12 and magnesium. These nutrients are crucial for maintaining cognitive health, and their deficiency might contribute to memory problems and other cognitive issues. Additionally, some research suggests that PPIs might directly affect brain function, although the exact mechanisms are still under investigation. A study published in the Journal of the American Geriatrics Society followed over 1,000 elderly patients and found that those who used PPIs regularly had a higher risk of developing dementia compared to those who did not use these medications. If you rely on PPIs for managing your stomach issues, it's important to discuss these potential risks with your doctor. They might suggest alternative treatments, such as lifestyle changes, dietary adjustments, or less potent antacids, which could provide relief without the same cognitive risks. Number 10. Hormonal Contraceptives These popular medications, especially those that combine estrogen and progesterone, are commonly used to prevent pregnancy and manage various conditions like menstrual irregularities and acne. However, recent research suggests that they might have an impact on cognitive function. Hormonal contraceptives work by altering hormone levels in the body to prevent ovulation and regulate the menstrual cycle. Estrogen and progesterone, the key hormones involved, play significant roles in many bodily functions, including brain health. These hormones are essential for maintaining cognitive functions such as memory, learning, and mood regulation. When their levels are artificially modified over extended periods, it may lead to unexpected effects on the brain. Studies have raised concerns about the potential link between long-term use of hormonal contraceptives and cognitive decline. For instance, research published in the Journal of Women's Health followed women who used hormonal contraceptives for many years. The study found a slight decrease in cognitive function among these women compared to those who did not use such medications. While the exact mechanisms behind this are still being studied, it's believed that altering the natural levels of sex hormones can impact brain function. It's important to note that while these findings are concerning, they are not yet definitive. 
the relationship between hormonal contraceptives and cognitive health needs further research to fully understand the risks involved. If you are using hormonal contraceptives and have concerns about their impact on your brain health, it's wise to discuss them with your healthcare provider. They can help you weigh the benefits and potential risks and explore alternative options if needed. Thanks for watching and until next time. Remember, always consult with healthcare professionals about the medications you take. Prioritize your brain health and make informed decisions about your treatments. Subscribe to our channel for more insights into your health and wellness. Stay informed, stay healthy.